off. I can feel the power, I can feel the power. Feel the power. Yeah, money that is time and hour. Time and so, hour. Yeah, I better activate the power. I'ma activate it, gotta make it, gotta chase it. I don't care what they be saying, I'ma do it now. And I've been really safe, and I ain't giving up, and I ain't giving in. Do it now for the dividends. I'll be on the path, I just gotta get it, cause I got my mind on some bigger things. So, man, I ain't gonna give in now. I just gotta live this now. I'll be gonna be and I'ma kill this stuff real quick. I'ma go take it to town, cause I gotta be that king in the room, and I'm not gonna mad when I'm back with the blue. Cause I have to stop for the journey, you just know that I'm just going to say. What's going on guys, Mecarina Central here. So this is the Polarium Play PC app for Mecarina. And um, as you can see, I just got the new skin. That uh, was a pre-registration event for, you know, pre-registering -pre for the PC version. So let's um, have a look. You know, so far the graphics are actually really nice compared to playing on Bluestacks. Obviously I play Bluestacks on lower settings normally just for the uh, increased speed and, and whatever so it doesn't look quite as polished but definitely can see the improved textures here so yeah Juggy's looking really nice right let's uh, see if we can get into a game then try it out so I've got to figure out the controls here because obviously I haven't done this before not sure what it's set up to as a default Go with this one first. Okay, this feels pretty nice and smooth. I'm gonna guess it's WASD for movement. Uh, yes, it is. All right. So, what's the um, first weapon? That's the the left mouse click, and right does the second. Very nice. Spacebar do ability. Yes, it does. Okay, so that's pretty much the same setup as Blue Stacks on default. And man, look at these textures. Very, very nice. Oh, yeah, I've got to get used to this because I'm used to, to using the keys to fire. Alright, there we go. Got a second kill. Third kill. Oh, nice. Nice, 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 nice. Oh, I missed it. Alright, uh, better die. Yeah. Loving this new skin. Really nice with the orange um, and blue contrast of the rail guns. Looks like a little bit of lag there. But yeah, we're playing this on no cap FPS, so it's very, very smooth compared to what I'm used to. Nice, there we go. Finished him off. I'm already used to the PC version anyway because of the blue stack, so not too much to get used to. And I'm sure you can change your sensitivity as needed. I think we just got him just as we died. <laughs> nice. Okay, there's a rampage. Spawning my juggy. Let's give this one a go. Uh, what's reload? Doesn't have a. Re I might need to modify this. Normally have my reload set to R. Yeah, very smooth, guys. I'm impressed with this so far. Definitely um, improved over the Blue Specs version for sure. Yeah, it just came in the wall. Uh, I'm not going to get a shield for another three seconds. Alright, never mind, we got him. Go. That's the end of the battle. That was really nice. I'd be very keen to try this out against players and just to see how this goes. Eighteen kills, one million damage in a CPC game. Not bad at all. And that was my first go of the player in PC. So um, yeah, definitely impressed with this so far. There's a few other things I want to show you guys in the coming videos that I'll be doing. Um, obviously, there's some stuff I've done off camera, so I'll um, be doing a video on um, 
brick house. I've got his ability, so him with this launchers is very fun, and I'll be trying that at some point. So we're now messing around with the settings here, guys. Going to controls. We've got a new control setting here called minimal aim assist, which um, I'd imagine is probably the best one uh, for PC version. It's obviously set me to wide assist when I normally play in vertical anyway, and I would have said for a PC version, vertical was the best, but this might be better, so we definitely have to give this one a go. Vertical time says for great precision and focus. Let's change to that one. HUD layout. So we can shift the HUD layout now. now where's the controls? That's one thing I did want to change. It doesn't look like you can set the controls on this version. I have to look for that one. Okay, we've gone straight into a game here, so I think we've got to play a game. Let's take a look. Now, S gets the settings up. And the other thing is, guys, we've got this field of view button here, so we can actually extend it outwards now and see a full field of view of the map, which gives us an advantage tactically. Um, so let's take a look who we're against. All right, we are against two players. We've got three here. Oh, no, three. it's a 3D3. Three, three, three. Or is that a 4v3? 3v3, okay. We go. Take up the center. I keep remembering then uh, that my weapon's are independent now. Nice, we dashed in there, got that. Let's try and get this one around the corner here. Nice. I do need a, a button that just fires both at the same time, it would make things easier, but... Hey ho. There we go, he's down. Yeah, very nice so far, and I'm enjoying using the Paragon again. Oh, you got me. Nice. Alright, let's take a look in here, see what else we've got, and that's mid battle boy doing pretty well. So, um, actually, give him a go because I've just recently got the legendary damage for my kill shot. So, let's see how he does. Dead. Nice, we got him just in time. Oh, he felt that. <laughs> Get him from here. Ah, oh, that's a shame, but I still managed to get him. Can What do you give him with arc twelves? Oh, two tens. Okay. Let's bring in Tengu. See what else I've got in here as well, because there was uh, a couple of other settings. We've got full of you. Battle HUD scale. Oh, that's obviously just the size of the HUD, um, which is you know pretty cool. And you can invert the settings, which I'm not going to do. I'm liking minimal aim assist, pretty good from what I can see so far. Oh, I've lost right shifted. I don't know what that does. But yeah, pretty decent as you can see. So um, let's finish this battle up. Wait. Ah, I tried to sneak that kill at the end there. Alright guys, well, so for my final assessment, obviously as you know I'm a PC player anyway, I do play on the phone as well, but I find this is very, very smooth, very, very nice, and definitely feels fitting on the PC now, so if you've got the specs to be able to do it, you can check the minimum specs, I, I believe it's around an i5 core or something you'd need and a bit of RAM, you'll be able to play this on the PC, but if you've got a better PC it's going to be more helpful for you, and uh, yeah, you know, I'd say give this a go guys, it's really smooth and really nice, so... Thank you for watching and I'll catch you in the next video.